work of urban planners is challenging as they need to balance social, economic and environmental factors to develop the prosperity of their urban environments. Their activities range from the management of the territory, the support of policymakers and their political work, to the engagement of wider stakeholders in future urban developments. The European research project Urban API addresses those challenges by providing urban planners the tools they need to analyze, plan and manage the urban environment in a comprehensive way. Joachim Rix, head of the Competence Center Spatial Information Management at Fraunhofer IGD and coordinator of Urban API, explains the motivation for the project. The motivation of the Urban API project was to support development in the cities in sense of participation possibilities, in sense of uh, governance possibilities, uh, and have IT support tools to support these processes within the cities in the future. The project provides tools to support urban planners at three different spatial levels. The 3D Scenario Explorer, which allows stakeholder engagement in urban planning processes. The Mobility Explorer, that permits the analysis of socio-economic activities within the city. And the Urban Development Simulator, that enables an interactive simulation of the city-region development. The 3D Scenario Creator was developed by Fraunhofer IGD. Jens Dambruch, the responsible researcher for the application explains its technical aspects. The 3D Scenario Creator is an interactive 3D application which can be used in urban planning. One example is an architectural competition uh, which enables the city to directly assess uh, differences between several uh, designs from architects. Uh, it's uh, relying on uh, the WebGL standard and upon this uh, we also uh, developed a library which is called XFreedom, which enables us to put these huge 3D models in a, in a scene and use it interactively. Helmut Augustin, who is working as an urban planner at the city of Vienna, explains how the traditional planning process benefits from the urban API approach. One core scenario I see is, is an architect's competition. This runs uh, like this, you have a room and all the architects have their posters and uh, then it might be that questions arise like uh, does this affect the World Heritage Zone or is there any visibility access? Traditionally uh, they ask the, the GI experts uh, from MA41 and a few days after uh, they have the answer and this process now uh, has the potential to become much more interactive. So this is what makes it a game changer to me. The second application being used by the urban planners in Vienna is the Mobility Explorer. Mobility Explorer is an application where we use mobile phone location data, of course fully anonymous data. So our interest is not tracking individual people, but uh, seeing, seeing the structures and patterns, how people move. Jan-Peter Anders from the Austrian Institute of Technology, AIT in Vienna, points out the application's functionality. The Mobility Explorer um, depicts numbers of aggregated mobile phone user data. There's a um, database running in the background and we have here a, a web user interface where we have certain GIS-like functionalities. So we can uh, try to find out, um, for example, if we have a certain location on the map we want to investigate on. And then we have a time slider and when we use this time slider we can see from this red rectangle where people were moving during the day. The third application is the Urban Development Simulator. The Urban Development Simulator is a very complex decision support tool which enables uh, to generate future development scenario. It is based on a local description using spatial attributes and uh, agent-based simulation where the local preferences of the agents are combined with these spatial attributes to generate future development scenarios. The benefit on the side of the urban planners is to see how much their uh, view of the city, how it should develop with the um, preferences of the local people no? and so they can adapt their decision for the future plans of the city and on the other hand side for the local citizens it is good because they can participate in this decision process how to uh, evolve, uh, how to develop their city. 
We currently have four cities involved, that's the city of Vienna, the city of Bologna, the city of Vittoria Gasteis and uh, Russe in Bulgaria. We learned a lot in the project in sense of what are the conditions we need, like what are the basic information, data information which is needed, how to handle that, how to prepare it. And this is what we can bring into future aspects in sense of using it in the cities, develop our tools and also exploit our tools into a broader perspective for all the cities more or less in Europe who are interested to develop in this direction sooner or later.